and it, it hurt, you know, because I, like I said, we after the game, I wouldn't expect to come in and give that type of speech. Um, and then just to see everybody about it today, man, it just it just it felt dry, you know. It just it didn't it still don't feel real. Um, but like I said, man, I mean, this is something that we got to keep building off of because I mean, eventually we got to stop feeling like this. And um, you know, hopefully next year we let this let it hurt all the way until you know next year and um, and build off of it. Yeah, I said it after the game. I said, um, even with just up front, you know, we got to the quarterback nine times, um, but there wasn't no strip sack. So I think just by um, being able to get the ball out of um, the offense hand, it would, it'll help us, not just on defense, but offense, putting them in great field position. Um, so I think that's some, one of the things that we have to keep preaching and um, putting into our game. And then I think, like, you, like Rave said, I mean, it will – Make this defense go to another level because that's something we did lack at. So. Uh, I'm very encouraged. I mean, because like I said, we from last year up to this year, we took a big step, and um, I think especially with on third down and now. Um, the next step is creating turnovers and trying to get the ball. So I think once we get and be able to create them type of turnovers. Um, that's just put our defense, um, you know, um, in the, I guess, top, I mean, number one, because like I said, we finished number two in run defense. You know, we, we was up there with the most sacks in the league. The thing was turnover. So I think that's just our main focus, especially going into camp. And, um, you know, we'll let, it, we'll let this, we'll build off this. So. You guys have been the find a way team. How much did it suck to kind of lose to the team that found found a way while you were sacking them nine times. I mean, that's something we just, like I said, I mean, I think turnovers, um, they found a way to make our offense turn the ball over, and we didn't find a way to get turnover. And I think, like I said, that's something we have to keep preaching, it's, uh, something we have to, you know, um, take advantage of, especially on, on on defense when guys running with the ball. I seen one time um, no, Chase had the ball out here. How can we punch that ball out? So I think that's why we have to find a way to create turnovers. And like I said, it sucks. It sucks to lose against a team like that where we was getting after them. Um, but they have more turnover. They they won a turnover margin. So I mean, that's kind of when you win turnovers, and especially late in um, playoff or late football, that's who win games. Thanks for being so great. Knowing you know some of the, the things that you had in front of you as far as the, the trip to the Super Bowl going through here, like how do you process it and use that as motivation? To have I mean, you got to use it as motivation. I mean, we know how far we came as a team. Um, me personally, I know how far I grew as a player, and I, I know for a fact I have so much room to improve. Um, I know that this off season I'm gonna work my tail off to, you know, even be better this upcoming season next year. So I think. That's just what you have to um, put in our mind that, you know, we're going to come back and not have this feeling again. Because, like I said, this feeling sucks. I, said, I, I really felt it coming in this morning, um, driving in for the extra physical. Just, man, like, we're supposed to be getting ready to play the Chiefs right now. And, you know, that just, that feeling hit me as I was coming in. I was just, you know, like, man, this don't even feel real. So I think that, that right there just kind of motivate me as personally that, you know, I hate this feeling and I'm going to do whatever I can as a leader, as a captain on this team to get us past this point uh, next year. You mentioned your progression as a player. I remember speaking to you in, in July, you wanted to impact the quarterback more. How much of a job do you think you've done with that? I did a great job. I think my my thing is, you know, I finished this year with 11 and a half sacks total, um, you know, with the playoff games, but I, I didn't have a strip sack. Um, I think that's where I have to kind of take, I think I could take my game to the next level by affecting the quarterback. Because, um, like I said, when you, when you look at it around the league, the quarterback fumbling the ball the most. And uh, we get into the quarterback so much, I, you know, I'm affecting the quarterback, but how can we get the ball out of his hands so we could help change the game? And I think that's where I have to kind of focus on, you know, not all about, just, you know, getting the quarterback to the ground, but also trying to get the ball out of his hands. How much did the, did the Nico's arrival kind of make the perfect complement to your game because you guys seem to just wreak havoc there on the inside beside each other. Yeah, man, it's, it's always great playing against a guy like Nico, man. You, who, A guy with knowledge, a guy who um, have that mindset, that a dominant mindset. You know, we, we always joke around like, you know, we dogs, you know, and I, just to hear him and, you know, kind of feel his, I guess, um, 
pressure. Play, uh, like you know, I guess he played style on on, a, on Sundays and even at practice. You know, I'm I'm talking to him trying to get oh, you got to do this. Like one time I um I beat a guy, but I didn't you know clear him. He was like you gotta you gotta pull it through and stuff like that. Just being able to get that type of knowledge from an older guy that been in this league, man. It's it was helpful for me as still a young player in this league. And you know, I think a lot of guys could um, say the same thing about um, Nico, man. He you know a very humble guy that you know like I said I'm. I, I enjoy playing with Nico, and I think, you know, it's just the beginning of what we both can do, you know, on the same D-line. Jeff, that mentality you guys have this season to, you know, to overcome, like, the injuries, we know the adversity you guys went through and stuff like that. Do you think that can carry over into next season, even if, you know, you guys may have, you know, different personnel here and there? Can you take momentum from a previous season into, into another one? Um, I think you can, most definitely. I mean, I think guys, guys kind of, I mean, just to hear and kind of see how guys feel about this game and uh, this past game, I think guys understand that we, we could be so great here. Uh, guys know that we could, we could win the Super Bowl here. And I think just being able to come in and especially this camp, you know, whoever is here, um, you know, hopefully a lot of guys back, you know, that's the way the game goes. We might not have a lot of guys back, but, you know, I, I feel like the guys who I know are going to be here for sure, could, the type of leadership like with um, Kevin, man, I, KB, I think he probably – one of the best leaders I ever been around, just by um, you know his not even just on the field, you know off the field stuff as well, you know just I mean just being the type of guy he is with his character, his, um, his type of leadership, I think that would make the team great. Um, that will make teams great because you know I've always been.